So today we're going to talk about how things are going, how you're doing, how I've been doing, and also you'll see at the very end, I forgot my tagline. Oh boy, let's get started. Joe McKenzie here, your watercolor coach. I'm still here. I'm still here. I haven't talked to you in a long time, but I'm still here. One of the reasons I haven't talked to you in a long time is because our rescue collie, Henry, who we got in January of 2021, the first day of January 2021, we took him in and we knew that he had a lot of health difficulties as well as behavioral problems because he had been neglected. Not because somebody willfully neglected him, but because there was a situation in which that by circumstances had happened and nobody knew about it. He was discovered and we took him in and he was lovely. And it was the first experience I had with an animal taking just one piece of food from your hand at a time. And by May into June, he had just grown tremendously. He was wagging his tail. He was happy with us. I'm not saying that he was perfect. He was not perfect, but we he was just aces to us. He really was aces to us. I say he was dealt a bad hand, but he was aces to us. The guess is that he was maybe five or six years old. Nobody knew for sure. He came to us with kidney problems, Lyme disease, of course, some sort of malnutrition, as well as a heart murmur. But in my Joe McKenzie type of way, I just went into magical thinking and decided it was just as if you took an Etch-a-Sketch, you know, turned it upside down and shook it, and then you turned it back around and it was like, it's going to have this new start with us, you know, it was going to be just, just great, if not perfect. Well, magical thinking is indeed a false illusion. <laughs> it does not happen that way. And although the gifts that he gave us were many, all of a sudden, at just at the end of June, he started to go downhill dramatically. We had a vet on call who had been attending to him while he'd been with us, but there was nothing we could do. Very quickly, his kidneys failed. And as I said, there was absolutely nothing we could do. I take a lot of comfort knowing from many people who've written to me that we did give Henry the best life that we could, even though it was as short as it was. I take a lot, a lot of comfort from that. But what it did do for me was I, I thought this part of my life was going to involve a lot of rescue of animals like that, to take them in in their latter years and really um, carry them over as, as they went, went into the next uh, far beyond, whatever that might be. Well, that was a myth. That was part of my magical thinking. I am not the person to do that. What I found out is that I am just emotions covered by skin. And although Henry taught me a lot of things, it's not a lesson I want to repeat over and over and over again. It just completely took the wind out of my sails and I realized I can't be that person. I can up my donations to organizations that do that kind of work and I will continue to adopt animals. I'm very good at hellos and I'm just rotten to the core with goodbyes. It's just not in me to do it. So. That is the reason why I haven't been on. I just sort of couldn't paint with a full heart. I couldn't be in the world with a full heart. It was a it was a challenging thing until I could untease all of what had happened and, and my own part in it and how I wanted to proceed. I miss having a collie in the house tremendously. I've always had a collie in the house and that is not happening right now. I'm not what, sure what I'm gonna do about that. Absolutely not sure what I'm going to do about that. All I can say is that uh, something is missing. Now back to painting. The thing that's happening about painting and the reason I'm going to insert something, I think I'm going to insert it right here. I'll put a clap to see what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on kind of something that I've been putting off for a while to see whether I can do it or not. And it's a metaphor. I tend to paint in metaphors sometimes, not realizing that I'm going to paint in metaphors, but I'm going to in this case with my eyes wide open. And I'm going to paint a glass half full or a glass half empty. You can decide. It's a clear glass with water in it against a gray background and a gray neutral floor. So that is going to be the challenge that I'm going to do. Now I understand that nobody's going to be interested in this but me. What could be more? I mean, really, you're painting. First of all, when you're painting glass, you're painting nothing <laughs> because the glass only reflects what's around it. It's actually an invisible thing. And then you add clear water to that. And once again, you've introduced an invisible element. I'm going to try to find as much color and value differences in this 
glass of half full water as I possibly can. And I may fail. I understand completely that I may fail. And I also understand that you might have no interest in following me doing that. But that's what I'm going to be doing because for some reason that seems to be the challenge that my heart wants to do. So I want to say once again, please let me know how you're doing as it is August uh, 2021, what you've been up to, what you're painting, what your challenges are, what you might want to see happening on this particular channel. I'll continue to share artists from time to time and the projects that I'm working on. I suspect that I won't be posting as much in the future. I can just feel it in my bones, but that could change in an instant. You never know. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white. Your I forgot my sign off. It's been so long. Oh my goodness. What is it? Remember to keep the whites of your paper white. I was going to say in your paints blank. That's not right. Let's try again. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white and your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.